HMS Banga goes into Libyan territorial waters. This British mine hunter is on an essential mission. As part of the NATO-led Operation Unified Protector, it has to clear this area of mines dropped by pro-Qaddafi forces. The mission of HMS Banga is to conduct uh, mine countermeasure patrols in the ports uh, running into Libya in order to provide uh, confidence to merchantmen in the area and that they can go into and out of uh, Libya with humanitarian aid and legal goods. At the beginning of May, NATO forces detected mines dropped by pro-Gaddafi boats near the port. The area is therefore at high risk. The boat has a special hull enabling it to operate. We're constructed of glass reinforced plastic um, which allows us to have a very low magnetic signature and allows us to go into minefields. Unlike steel, glass reinforced plastic is not a magnetic material and so does not trigger so-called magnetic mines. Mines can also be triggered by acoustic detection, for example by the sounds coming from ships. Mechanics on board the HMS Banga make sure that the noise of the engines is kept down during the operation. These mechanics and also the engineers, navigators and divers are all specialists in sea mine clearance. Their job is to detect and destroy mines of all kinds. Obviously ground mines speak for themselves, they're on the seabed, right, uh, you know, as minimum up to 10 metres down to a maximum of two, 300 metres. Uh, and they can be caused by uh, magnetic si signature or acoustic signature. Uh, and then you've got buoyant mines, which are mostly con uh, contact mines, which again it explains itself. The contact mines have to be contacted for them to go off. HMS Bangor is not the only mine hunter in operation. HNMLS Harlem, a Dutch ship, is working alongside it near the port of Misrata. Its divers and unmanned submersibles explore the seabed. HNMLS Harlem has several detection systems, such as propelled variable depth mine hunting sonar. This system can descend to a depth of 200 metres. Once in the sea, it is guided by the boat and thanks to its sonar, detects all the objects in its path. The data is sent back to the ship's crew. When an object is identified as likely to be a mine, the captain can give the order for another unmanned submersible, the Sea Fox, to identify it using a camera and then destroy it. The Sea Fox Charlie has a shaped charge in it and it will explode. So it will destroy the mine and it uh, won't come back after that. The Sea Fox explodes together with the mine. It can be used in the case of dangerous mines. Depending on the situation, the commanding officer may decide to use human resources instead of the robot. The first diver uh, located and then the second diver, uh, the first diver attached uh, a rope to it or a uh, bend, he uh, bend it uh, straight uh, on it. And then the second diver uh, takes some explosives may, uh, from the surface to the mine and we attach that to it and uh, we go back to the surface, go uh, from a safe uh, distance, go, we go to a safe distance and then we uh, uh, yeah, explode it. It's delicate work. During demining operations, the crew is extremely focused. The boat stays a few kilometers from the Libyan coast. The risks are great. We are uh, anticipated to any threat uh, like uh, uh, improvised explosive floating on the sea, uh, but also uh, small, uh, fast attack crafts coming from ashore, uh, loaded with explosives. It's uh, relatively uh, stable. Only Misrata Harbour itself and Misrata the city is uh, sometimes uh, threatened by uh, shelling uh, and that also could harm us. So the mine hunters are not working alone, they're a frigate some watch. The mine clearers call them their babysitters. These ships are also part of Operation Unified Protector and it is their job to protect them. Uh, Charlottetown had been tasked to operate quite close uh, into shore along with the uh, minesweepers. Charlottetown was providing that protective envelope in which the minesweepers could operate. So the Canadian frigate Charlottetown and the Italian Euro have to protect the mine clearers from threats coming from the sea, the sky or the land. How we do that? Uh, by maximizing the use of all our sensors, uh, radar for surface and air, and uh, uh, questioning and inquiring about all targets or small uh, threat that could possibly be coming towards the uh, MCMs. All the ships take their orders from a flagship. Until the 26th of July, the Italian ship Garibaldi assumed that function. Since then, the San Giusto has taken over. The ships carry out various missions such as the arms embargo or air surveillance, but mine destruction is indispensable. Mines can cause a great deal of damage. Mines themselves are an indiscriminate weapon. 
in that it's not targeted against military vessels. So it could have been a, a vessel with um, migrant workers on board. Mine clearance is carried out in the framework of the UN Resolution 1973 in order to protect civilian populations. 20 ships under NATO command are now sailing in the Mediterranean. This is the NATO Channel report from the Mediterranean Sea.